All right, day number 11, we are back again, and it's getting nicer still for our US dollar Canadian dollar trade. Let's push down, say, let's see it on the 30 minute chart. That was the big push, guaranteed 152. Now, this trade coming in really nice. The wait's going to continue as it always does. Euro Swiss franc, that's gone well away from where we were hoping for it to go. Would have been nice to get two red candles like these instead of the green ones. Might have been some good divergence in there. Potentially close on the New Zealand dollar Japanese yen as well. If we get a strong green candle, but light on the AD a couple days from now, potentially. Yeah, we'll take any divergence we can get. Let's try again on these charts tomorrow. Day number 12, and good news doth come for us on the US dollar Canadian dollar. We've taken the profit on subtrade B three times ATR. What a drop it was today. Let's have a look on that hourly chart. Yeah, you can see it really plummeting down. I think if we just had the trading stop loss and not the three times take profit, might have got a little bit more out of it, but wouldn't have been a great amount of difference because it really did come back up today. But we take $300 from the trade and $5.84 loss on the swap for a total of $3.94 and $90 from both sub trades. Really nice to see that. The first one is a winner. Nothing much else going on. New Zealand dollar, Japanese yen, that is pushing still. Divergence can go pretty far back if we need it to. Likely if we do get it, it'll be from this candle here. Let's mark it out, see roughly where we need to get to. Still a ways away to go, but a bit of potential. No actual signals for us tonight though. Just got to keep on hoping that something comes through for us. Tomorrow's another day. Day number 13, not much to report now. Our US dollar CAD trade has gone through. Came so close on the New Zealand dollar Japanese yen. It really pushed earlier today, but back down it's come over the last couple hours. There goes the signal. Pound Swissy getting very close as well. Just push that bit more, get to that low. Same to New Zealand dollar CAD. Big drop tomorrow. Might just get us in. It'd be tight, but no surprise. There's nothing for us right now. We can only wait. Yep. Day number 14. Nothing special to record. Again, no signals. These ones moving away from where we want. New Zealand yen dropping. Pound Swissy on the rise. Look at the Euro Swissy. This was the divergence here. Should have taken it from the close. These lows here were putting us off. Wanted it to drop a bit more. But it was the lowest close. There was divergence. And since there has been a big old push. So missed out a bit there. And yeah. You can see here on all these charts, nothing going on in terms of divergent signals. Aussie CAD at low, but the ADs are low too. Yeah, we're just going to have to keep on waiting here. Alrighty, day number 15. Here we are at the end of the week. And it's great news. Finally, the New Zealand dollar Japanese yen comes through for us, pushes through that green line that we set. It's gone to a new high, hasn't formed a reversal candle as it comes back down. Let's just move that line out of the way. But we certainly do have divergence. You can see the high there touching that green line. And when we compare it to the AD indicator, very much a lower high there. Now we need our average true range indicator, work out that risk, 14 periods we know. And it's 67.2 pips on the ATR. Let's get that new order up. Single times risk, 1% per sub trade, sell, sell, sell. And same again, let's sell it once more. Those are our trades. Now we've got the stop loss and take profit to plug in. 672 points to both stop losses, matching one times ATR for sub trade A. There we go, $100 on the line, near enough. And same for subtrade B, but triple the take profit. So there we go, we're in. That is going to be our only signal. We really wanted to get in there. Didn't want to miss out like we did with the Euro Swiss franc. That really went to the favor. So this time, as soon as we see that divergence, we are in straight away. Very narrow divergence, but those signals not coming thick and fast. So we've got to take it where we can. Let's just mark it out there. You can see down it goes on the AD. And up it goes, just that touch on price. Perfectly pleased with that. So we get our trade before the weekend. Very nice to see. We'll leave it there. But not before we take a quick look at the journal. The glory of it all with our winning trade. The US dollar CAD coming through perfectly there. So almost 4% up on the account now. $394.90. And you can see quite the difference between getting into these trades. 5th of September for US dollar CAD. All the way through to 22nd of September for the New Zealand dollar Japanese yen. So it could be a while before we get another one after the NZD. As I've said before, though, happy to wait, of course, as long as they're winners. And as long as the wait isn't years or decades, centuries, millenniums, you know. Trade again on Monday.